With Halloween right around the corner, three things immediately come to mind. Dressing up, trick-or-treating, and getting scared. Today, we are going to look at the most popular costumes to wear and the best places to go. So come on. Every year, Americans spend millions of dollars on Halloween to dress up and look their best. So the question is, what are the best costumes to wear? Uh, this year we're going to be Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. We're going to be Buzz Lightyear. I'm going to be a mermaid. Being Peyton Marshall. I'm going to be Jackson Gersey. I'm going to be Kanye West. So now that we've heard from the kids on what the most popular costumes to wear are, let's hear from the experts. All right, here with me today I have Hector, who works at Halloween City in Laguna Hills Mall. So Hector, what is the most popular kids' costume? The most popular kids' costume, I would have to say, for girls, is uh, a lot of the princess costumes. And then for little boys, would probably be the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Probably because of the movie? Yeah. All right, and then what is the most popular adult's costume? Um, I see a lot of adults buying like zombie type of costumes, like, you know, just zombie season, I guess. The best place to go get candy is Disneyland. Uh, Dove Canyon. Uh, I think Nelly Gale. Nelly Gale. The best place to get candy is in Coda. My house, because it's free. So if you don't know where to go on Halloween, come on down to the empty grave located at the Laguna Hills Mall. Let's go find out more about it. All right, here with me today, I have the owner of the empty graveyard. So, Mike, please tell us, what exactly is the empty graveyard? Well, the empty grave is actually a haunted house. It's a haunted attraction that we've been running for the past 10 years. Uh, we've been in the city of Orange and the city of Anaheim over the last seven and eight years. And now we've moved to Laguna Hills, um, just in front of the Laguna Hills Mall for our 10th year anniversary. We let groups in an individual small group, so we don't just send a long continuous line. So you really get an individualized um, experience. It's not just a general canned experience. Um, and we've put a lot of heart and soul into this. We have volunteers that have been with us for over eight years, designing, building, and putting this all together. So uh, we really put a lot into it, and we really hope that our guests come in and enjoy it. All right, and how much is a ticket? Uh, tickets are $13 for one or two for 20. Uh, and then we do also offer a VIP quick death pass, which is $20, which will let you avoid the line uh, if there is a line on the night you come in. All right, so on a scale of one to 10, how scary is this haunted house? I would say about 155. All right, and we're, are kids gonna be scared if they come in here? We've had about 10 kids run out already. All right, and why did you want to be a monster? Look at me. All right, so whether you're trick-or-treating on Halloween, coming out to this scary place, or just staying in and watching a movie, have a great and safe Halloween, Diablos.